on the season finale of NFL Turning Point. It's a Super Bowl, man! That's right, baby. An in-depth look at all the crucial moments from Super Bowl 56. Higgins jumps up, pushes over his defender. OPI! That's what I'm talking about. Believe it, and you'll be world champs. Including Matthew Stafford mic'd up for a career-defining turning point. Touchdown, LA! I love it. That's a big time drive. A Lombardi for Los Angeles! The best party hosts may like things just so, but they decorate to make everyone feel comfortable. The Rams became the second team ever to host a Super Bowl in their home stadium, and the second consecutive. Good afternoon from SoFi Stadium, and welcome to Super Bowl 56. Dressed to the nines, two quarterbacks ready to roll. And I'm excited because somebody is going to write their name in history today. An 82 degree afternoon. The weather kind of makes it feel like a Regular season game. Yeah. Nice though. Hell yeah. Really nice. It is hot. You work so hard. Go put on a show for us today. You don't know which rep it'll be. Make every rep like it's your last, bro. Because we're going to need it. I dreamed about this is our six. Oh, football, yeah! All right, Joe. What are you working so hard for? Why you doing? Let's go! Bring it up! I love looking at y'all's faces, man. We've hey, talked hey, about hey, it all year, bro. We a family. And as this game goes, we're going to get closer and closer in this circle, man. Because you know what the best part about the day is? All we got to do is be us. Let's go! You got a lot of... Hey, this is the last chapter of our season right now. This is the last chapter of our book. We know how this is ending. It's ending with us holding that trophy. Everyone put that blood, sweat, tears for this moment right here. You guys, it's time. Who's the best team in the National Football League? There ain't no more games. This is it. There are no guarantees that you will be back here again. Let's go, man. You deserve this. Yep. Let's earn it today. Yep. Let's go. There's no time to ease into a Super Bowl. And every decision can have crucial ramifications. They're going for it, Coach. It is now fourth and one in a long one at that. First interesting call of the game. Fourth and one. Bengals at the 49 of LA. Hey, 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 hey. We're a once and throw for it. It's Tim. Nope. It's a fourth down stop for the Rams. Yeah. Ernest Jones undercut the route, and Burrow and the Bengals fail on fourth down. That was just a misread by Joe Burrow right there. They motioned T. Higgins from the left side to the right side. He became the outside receiver and ran to the flat. There was nobody within six yards of him. Should have been the first read for Joe Burrow. Instead, he worked back to the inside to his main man, but he had an easy first down if he just reads this outside in. Well, I'll tell you, that's a big momentum turn right there for the Los Angeles Rams. Going for it on fourth down the first drive of the Super Bowl. Tripped. I like it. We're here to win it. We're here to win it. Hey, let's go get some. Points right here. Come on, let's go take this lead. Let's go. Come on. Take it to him, man. Yep. We should be good here. We good. Turbo set. To the outside, he goes here. Cooper Cup makes his first catch. The inbounds. Cuts to the inside. Taken down to the 24 yard line. Broke away from Jesse Bates. That's a gain of 20 for a man who won the Triple Crown. Led the league in receptions, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns. 
All right, Matthew, trust what you see right here, buddy. Here comes third down and three. Turbo set! Spins it right side, looking for Odell Beckham Jr. He high points the football and has a six! Touchdown, OBJ! Touchdown, LA! With 6.22 to go in the opening quarter. I love that. Great job, man. That's awesome. And I love the play call here. Little wheel route, just stick at the line of scrimmage, then use your speed down the sideline. Nice adjustment to go up and catch it with your hands and pull it away from the defender, who actually had really good coverage. First time they really got into just a single high man coverage. They're going to send OBJ down the sideline here without any help at all for Mike Hilton, and that may be too big of an ask. And what a job by Beckham on the back end. Mike Hilton split his hands, but still able to hang on to that one, which is very difficult to do. drives for the Bengals offense gained a total of 15 yards got to get untracked is that Ramsey up top Jamar's just running right past him. yeah he's gonna throw it to Jamar right Eddie right side one of the premier matchups of Super Bowl 56 pitted Jamar Chase against Jalen Ramsey Burrow back to throw wants to float it high and deep for Chase reaches out comes down to the ball at the 11 yard line, a spectacular fingertip catch by numero uno. He's working against Ramsey, one on one. Who is that? Who is on him, Ramsey? Huh, interesting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what just happened there? Oh, really? We need to settle in, man. LA's defense would settle in. Right, hot. On three straight plays, they held off Cincinnati and sometimes just held. It's a fastball over the middle, and it is incomplete intended for T. Higgins right at the goal line. Ramsey in coverage again. He grabbed the shirt a little bit right there, which did drag him back into the play. He got away with a jersey grab that wasn't called. But hey, it's a Super Bowl. <laughs> They're going to let you play. The Bengals settle for a 29-yard field goal try. Shooter McPherson swings the right leg. A high spinning end over end kick. It is good. LA 7, Cincinnati 3. Home, yep, let's go. A lot of ball. Get skinny if you want to. Get vertical. Could be a big one. As the game moved from the first quarter to the second, the Rams faced a key third down. Third down and 11, 24 yard line. Come on. Snap back to Staff. Four man rush. Has time to let it go. Right side. OBJ in space. Go, Joe! Beckham out of bounds in Bengals territory as he reaches the Cincinnati 40. Yes! Staff fake the toss. Boot out to his right. Sets his feet. Wanted to take the top off. Instead, throws the wheel. It's caught. Daryl Henderson inside the 20. God, that was a great throw and catch, man. Those guys made a great play. Here's it up. Motion from the right, Van Jefferson. Here's a play fake. A roll right. Cooper cuts in the end zone. Stafford sees him. Back by a lot of yes. Great job seeing that. Good call and hey, good communication, all you guys, man. Cooper clutch. The most complete receiving season in NFL history now includes a Super Bowl touchdown. Well, the Rams have a beat on this. Eli Apple has his eyes in the backfield. He doesn't see Cooper Cup as he takes to the safety, gets behind him. Eli Apple doesn't get enough depth. Easy pitch and catch. Matthew, great job seeing that, buddy. Odell! Hey, hey, the third down was huge, 
row. Great job. Odell! Odell! Hey, third down was big, man. Good job by Daryl Henderson, too. Hey, Daryl, that a baby. Yes, Great job. The Bengals are going to have to do it again. Let's go. On the ensuing extra point attempt, the Bengals were the beneficiary of a bungle. The hold is bobbled. Mishandled by Hecker, the holder. A botched hold left LA's lead at just 10. Yeah, Can we just try it, fake? Oh, it bobbled snap. Okay. That's all right. Hey, in the moment, move on. We move on. We're good. It's a Super Bowl, man. Cincinnati has two Joes. Hey, Eric. I'm Joe. Nice to meet you, brother. I love watching you grow up. I love watching you growing up. The other Joe also introduced himself. Well, if you're the Bengals, you want to keep running the ball so you can set up this play action pass. Joe Mixon carried the ball five times on the Bengals' next drive. He's inside the Rams 40. A terrific run by Joe Mixon. Longest drive of the game for either team. Here's the 12th play. And it's second and goal from the six. Got to put this ball in the end zone right here. Six carries, 39 yards so far for Joe Mixon. Ready? The Bengals right, right. toss it to the right. Pass! Mixon throws it in the back of the end zone. It is caught by T. Higgins. Touchdown, yeah! Bengals. The first NFL touchdown pass ever thrown by running back Joe Mixon. Great job, Joe! Joe Mixon floating one into the back right corner of the end zone, and T. Higgins hauls it in. Joe Mixon said, if you're going to over-pursue, I'm going to use it against you. Everybody starts downhill to fill the run sweep. They think it's going to be a sweep. They don't even look for T. Higgins. By the time the recovery is made, it's way too late. Great call by Zach Taylor on the preparation. The thing is, you have to have the element of surprise. Zach Taylor set it up with Joe Mixon running the ball effectively in that drive. Joe was the threat, running, running, running. Just so y'all know, and he can pass. And he can pass. You let Joe steal the first one of the game, huh? Yeah. Hey, as soon as the corner can, I'll you. I'll do it. Die. Woo! I'm all you. Hey, Matthew. Story spot. Here we go. Right back down the field here, buddy. In a moment. Juggled and dropped, and OBJ goes down, favoring his left leg. Oh, no. Is that his knee? No. That's the knee that he hurt. He had a shallow cross, and he, like, stepped weird. Oh, no. That didn't look good, huh? Odell Beckham Jr. left the game and did not return. Four plays later, things grew even more bleak for the Rams. Throw us one, Matt. 2-12 left in the half, third down and 14. Empty backfield. Stafford scrambling left, squares his shoulders, points deep, fires toward the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone by Jesse Bates. Yeah! At the two-minute mark, Stafford, who has two touchdowns in this game, goes for broke, heaves it to the end zone, and it comes back to cost him. Over of the day goes to the Bengals defense. Stay the course. Stay the course. Stay the course. Stay the course. We gotta get more out of deep this now. Right? We got to. Hey, we gotta step up even more with O being down. You get me? If O if O don't get low, yeah. Sometimes it seems like halftime goes by in the blink of an eye. But the extended break was just what the doctor ordered for the Bengals giving them just enough time to scheme up the perfect play to open the third quarter. Let's go, boys. 13-10 Los Angeles. The Bengals have never led. We'll see if they can drive down the field and take the lead to begin the third quarter. Right, Eddie! Right, cut! Burrow under center, a play fake. The pressured immediately. Burrow now scrambling. <laughs> Fires deep downfield for Higgins. Jumps oh, up, baby. punches over his defender, nice. catches the ball, runs it into the end zone. There's no penalty flag. No. A 75-yard touchdown. Burrow to Higgins. Touchdown. Ah! Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's how he set the tone. Jalen Ramsey 
couldn't find the football. And by the time he did, T. Higgins found the ball, cut inside of him. And Joe Burrow, how about giving the Bengals lead a one-play drive? Deep shot to T on the first play of the second half. Was that a look, or was that something you wanted to do regardless? It was part of a concept, you know, and really Joe pushed up in the pocket and felt the match coverage there and, and just put it up and let T go make a play. Joe just gave a guy that he's got a lot of faith in, an opportunity, and, and T rewarded him with a big play for touchdown. Now, obviously, Jalen's a, a great player, in my opinion, the best in the league. But, you know, I'm not going to let that affect my decision making. Come on, Reese! Come on, Reese! You know, I just have confidence in my guys in one-on-one -on -one situations. Yes, sir, that's what I'm talking about. The touchdown was set up when T. Higgins and Jamar Chase ran a switch release, crossing paths, and leaving Higgins matched on Jalen Ramsey. They're going to get a matchup against the Rams' best, Jalen Ramsey. And really, the difference so far in this game has been the fact that they have hit two big pass plays against Ramsey. Unbelievable. You take advantage of all that time, right? You're in at halftime. Come right out and hit the explosive right off the bat. Told him on Tuesday, if that guy's running with you, I'm just going to watch it. Cincinnati's first lead of the game didn't come without controversy. OPI! And there was a little base mask grab. Slings Ramsey by. But I don't think Ramsey can believe he didn't get that call. Bro, that is insane, bro. Let's go respawn right here. Here we go, boys. Leading for the first time, the Bengals look to their defense to keep the momentum going. Stafford throws over the middle, and it is intercepted. <laughs> Chinabe Awuje on the deflection. <laughs> and the Bengals have the lead and the ball at the Rams 32. The Bengals on two plays have a touchdown and an interception to begin the third quarter. Play the next play. Play the next play. Man, good ball. I couldn't hold it any longer. Huh? No. Couldn't hold any longer. I tried to put it down to be safe, but. Pressure's getting to him. Keep doing it. Fight about the ball. Keep forcing it. With the Rams reeling, the Bengals look to take control of the game. No easy task when you have to contend with Aaron Donald and the Los Angeles defense. Third down and three from the Rams 11. Turbo cut! Burrow calls for the snap. Rams bring five. He hitches. He's hit. Aaron Donald gobbles him up. Yes! Sacked outside the 20. Great response. AD 99 showing up in Super Bowl 56. You can handle this, guys. Yeah. Right? You did the right thing on your set. So we have to like your vertical bowl. You just got to sit down, squeeze your elbows, and foot far and lift them right up. Don't get another time to eight. You know what I mean, Thank you. Thank you. Go. On the sack, the Rams lined up with five men on the line of scrimmage, meaning center Trey Hopkins had to account for linebacker Ernest Jones, leaving Donald one-on-one -on -one with right guard Hakeem Adeniji. This was what everybody was anticipating happening. They had just have not created enough one-on-ones for Aaron Donald. That's what you're looking for. Hold him to a field goal, give your offense a chance to tie this game up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't let up, don't let up. They scared, they scared. LA held Cincinnati to a field goal, which extended their lead to seven. Let's go compete, man, let's go. One snap at a time. Let's ride, baby. Odell Beckham Jr. was sidelined with a knee injury. Turbo today. So Matthew Stafford turned to his other weapons, looking to get the Rams offense going. They're really missing now not only Odell, but Tyler Higby, who was their second leading receiver this year. Somebody's going to have to step up and make a play. Stafford is going to have to build confidence in these other targets. Stafford even became a target himself. 
It's an end around. Here comes Cooper Cup. He throws it. Too tall for Stafford and completes. I was coming for you. I was coming for you. It's fourth and five, and with 6.02 to go in the third quarter, Gay is on the field to attempt a field goal. A 41-yard attempt is right down the middle. Matt Gay, pure from 41 to trim the deficit to 20 to 16 Cincinnati. What will the finish have in store here at SoFi Stadium? Short-term game, boys. What else could you ask for? Jamar! Jamar! Next time they line up in man, just be ready. Two deep safeties, Nick Scott and Eric Weddle. Soft coverage on the outside. Wait, it's hot! Rams rush four. Burrow, top of his drop, steps up and deals. It skips incomplete to Jamar Chase. Oh. Chase had run a good route, had separation from Jalen Ramsey, and the timing was a little bit off between Burrow and Chase. Jamar. Honestly, I forgot about, I forgot you were going to stutter it. Yeah, I did tell you that this week, too. Ah, uh, that's why you threw it early. The over-under for Super Bowl 56 closed at 48 and a half points. You bet on offense, things were looking good with 20 minutes of game time left. A combined score of 36 on the board already, with two offensive-minded head coaches. What do you think personnel was? Hey, Zach. However, when Zach Taylor and Sean McVay were together on the same staff, they coached in the lowest scoring Super Bowl of all time. In that game, New England bottled up McVay's rushing attack with a six-man front. Three years later, Taylor tried something similar against his old boss. That was the old New England look that he hit Sean McVay with in the last Super Bowl. Six down across that front line. Maybe they're trying to bring back Ghost of Christmas Past. With OBJ spectating, Cincy defensive coordinator Lou Anarumo stacked the box against the run and focused his third down coverage on Cooper Cup. Twins out to the right side, including Cooper Cup. Bring it! Third down and four. Line drive through near sideline high and uncatchable for Skowana. They played a bunch of man covers. They were doubling Coop on every third down. And Cup is only one reception in the second half with no OBJ. A lot of the third down situations, they were kind of doubling him, especially once Odell went out. This has to be killing Odell Beckham Jr. I was going to kill him, bro. All that third down, I was going to kill him. Hey, do you remember everything happened in God's plan? I, I know it. Hey, everything happened in God's plan. You scored, you scored the first touchdown. Let's win it. Come on. Let's win it. Come on. Let's go, man. I can't Just keep out working. They don't, want to, they don't really want to play. Nowadays, Everybody want to talk like the NFL is all about offense. I forgot about D. That's a bunch of gibberish. For most of the second half, it was nothing but a D thing, baby. Two blitzed out Ds going crazy. And yeah, they do a good job of finding one-on-one -on -one matchups with their really good players up front. Aaron Donald, Vaughn Miller, and Leonard Floyd are three of the best players in the league. Hey, Vaughn. Hey, Vaughn. Joe, nice to meet you, brother. Joe Burrow introduced himself to Von Miller, and then Miller introduced himself to Burrow, twice. Yes! Is that ball out? Is that ball out? Now we're coming to life. Now we're coming to life, D. Defense just came up with stop in, stop out to come away with seven sacks, tying a Super Bowl record. Last time that was done was uh, Super Bowl 50 when Von Miller was a part of that Broncos team. The Denver defense, seven sacks in the Super Bowl and held the highest scoring offense in the NFL to only 10 points. We had one sack the first half and then came out and started taking over the game what we needed to as a defensive front. Vaughn was making plays. L.A. allowed a 75-yard score to start the third quarter, 
and then gave up only 75 yards for the rest of the second half. Man, I don't think I've ever played for, for more in my career, man. I was uh, playing for DT. You know, he passed away suddenly in December. I'm so proud of you, son. I'm so proud of you, son. We done came a long way. Like two years ago, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? God is good, ain't he? Great. I love you, bro. We got a hell of a way. We serve. I love you. Serve him. Get away, D. What are you talking about? Joe Burrow's the truth. Wait, son. You know, he was getting the ball out so quick, man, getting to tell those skilled receivers, man. Good job getting the ball out of your I, heard, I felt Donald coming. You can feel it. You guys are taking over the front. You can feel it, boy. You know, every game you try to balance getting the ball out fast and, and holding it to, to create some more big plays. So it's just kind of a balance throughout the game that you have to find completions and then maybe hold it for that extra tick to create the big play. Burrow under pressure, and he is sacked for the seventh time. Oh, oh. If I'm the Rams, I'm rushing five every time. And it looks like Joe Burrow got his leg caught up as he was trying to get out of there. Wasn't a dirty play, but he just got rolled up a little bit. He's a fighter. He's one of the toughest guys I've ever met. He always responds well and jumps back in and, and can fight through a lot of pain. Joe Burrow is down and grabbing his right knee. Oh, boy. Joe, when you were hopping off the field on one leg, uh, really not much medical attention on the sideline. You kind of just went about your business. Were you just pushing it aside, saying, I'm not dealing with this right now? Yeah, we were. We get checked out after the game. We'll get back to Cincinnati. But I wasn't coming out. You want to try to walk it off, see how it feels, and then let me know? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, there's no game next week, so that's good. You good? Hey, you good or no? We got nobody left, right? The Rams defense stood tall, got off the field, got the ball for the offense. You got to get points here, guys. I need you, babe. Come on. I need you. All we need is one drive. Hey, hey, let's get the offense down here real quick. Come here down here. Come here, guys. Come here. Everybody come down here. Hey, come here real quick. Let me talk to him. Hey, guys, let me just tell you something right now. What you're not going to regret is waking up right now, playing our best ball, good execution. Our defense is playing great. They're going to get a stop. Be in the moment, one play at a time. Believe it, and you'll be world champs. Believe it. Let's find it right here in our God, go get this done. Let's go. All right, I believe it. The Bengals still in front, 20 to 16. 613 remaining. All we need is one drive. All right, boys, let's go right here. Hey, one drive now. Let's go. One play at a time. Let's go get this thing done, baby. Let's go. Do it together. Let's go. Matthew Stafford, six game winning drives for the Rams. Does he have another? Can he go win the Super Bowl? First down and 10 from his own 21 as he takes the shotgun snap. It's Bryson Hopkins with nine yards. Smart second and one. If you don't have anything you like, you got your back. Second and one, Stafford wants to throw. He lets it go right side and complete at the feet of Ben Skoranek. Let's get this third and one. Let's go. Come on, man. Challenge him. Hey, let's go. Get this thing now. Let's go. We didn't run the ball very well. You know, not a lot of good situations I put our guys in. Turbo set. For first down yardage, I don't think Akers got it. <laughs> this looks like fourth down. Should we go for it? And the decision of Sean McVay's life right here. The turning point of the Super Bowl wasn't just Sean McVay's fourth down decision. Fourth and one when you're on 30. You know what? Sometimes you just go with a gut feel. You're going for it. It was also whose number he called. Hey, south right clamp, F sly, short yardage spirit. South right clamp, F-Sly, short yardage spirit on the turbo. He needs one on fourth down. Cup in motion, now sprints. It's the jet sweep, out the right side. He cuts inside, he's got it. To the 35 before he drops. 
the belief in Sean that I was going to be able to get the ball and just be able to get one yard. We tried to kind of make it look like maybe there was a QB sneak coming, try to get guys to pinch. Safety Von Bell was unblocked at the point of attack, but because the Rams were selling QB sneak, when the right tackle blocked down, Bell stepped inside and could not adjust to the lateral speed of Cup. I felt like based on the way that they had played some of those short yardage situations that Cup would have a chance to be able to circle the defense. They defended it really well, but it was a great player making a great play. Super Cup, keeping the Rams drive alive. McVay's decision to stay up tempo created even more opportunities for Cup. Hey, Trey left slot. Trey left slot. Trim, trim, trim. Trim right. Trim right. Well, Sean did a great job. We were kind of in a hurry up that whole last drive. Don't wait. Let's go. Being able to kind of keep them from setting some rushes, but also keep them in just zone calls where you zone some stuff off and allow Matthew and I to kind of find some soft spots in there. Let's go. Keep taking completions. Hey, Blue, yours, Z, Z, Z. You know, we were able to go tempo, kind of regulated them into be able to play some zone. We did some things that helped us be able to get him those touches, but they still were tight window throws. Flag, you gotta, uh, you gotta uh, wide. Turbo, set. When windows were tight, Stafford opened them with his eyes. Cooper Cut makes the catch. If you thought this looked like a no-look pass, your eyes are not deceiving you. Stafford looked short to his tight end, moving the lurking Von Bell and opening up Cooper Cup. Unbelievable. They've got Von Bell lurking right in the middle of the field, right where that route was being run, and it didn't matter. I mean, this is Matthew Stafford, who is now just going to take over the game and go, Cooper, just get ready. Turbo, set Nickel, nickel. First and 10 throw, right side, tight window, Cut brings it in. Matthew Stafford is finding him and getting the ball to him. Matthew and Cooper made the most of their opportunities in the most important and critical times. All right, Matthew, you ready for this? This is going to be your game winner right here, buddy. X now, F fade on turbo. Now with 129 remaining in regulation in Super Bowl 56, it's second and goal from inside the one. Stafford from under center, steps back, throws the fade, back shoulder, Cooper Cup yes! got it! Yes! Touchdown! Touchdown! Touchdown, LA! 15 plays, 79 yards. Cover zero, you got that inside leverage, so I tried to just weave to his leverage, make him, you know, move in a little bit, jab him one time, and be able to just give Matthew some room to put the ball wherever he wanted to, and he made a great back shoulder throw and uh, was able to come down with it. Cooper Cup is such a G, dude. The most patient release of all time. Love it. I know right where to put it in. Nice job digging in there on that cheese. Might be the best no-looker we got all year. Hey, what else? What else could you want? What else could you want? Right now, let's go. Let's go. Hey, Aaron, this is the moment right now. Wait, Andy. Wait, son. The Bengals were driving for their first Super Bowl win in team history. But there were plenty of Rams who wanted their first ring, too. to Piran, tries the right side. Runs in there, and Donald who hangs on for no gain. It'll be fourth down and one. For the world championship right here. Aaron Donald's gonna make a play. Less than a yard to gain on fourth down with 43 seconds remaining. Right side! He flings it away on fourth down. Yeah! Aaron Donald's back there. I knew it! I knew it! And you can build that man's statue out SoFi Stadium right now. My goodness. I mean, what a move. What a play. Wait, son. <laughs> what a game. I mean, Aaron Donald right on cue makes the play to get to Joe Burrow. Hey. 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 Hey.
Hey, great job, man. Great job. So happy for you. Oh. Stafford in the victory formation with a script right out of Hollywood. The star-studded Los Angeles Rams are a hit. They have won Super Bowl 56. Let's go. Confetti flies here at SoFi Stadium. This is for you, man. Say the bottle. I want this sold out for you. Thank you, you brother. Me. I love you, dude. <laughs> oh my God, dude. I love you so much, man. Oh God, I'm so proud of you. Loving man. Way to go. So proud of you. So happy for you. Let's it's do it again. Crazy day is just the start. Yes. You're damn right. Oh, we're we're Forever, bro. Forever. Man, look at this. We have to look at it. Take it in, man. Take it in. World champs, man. World champs, man. I love you, dog. You're a hell of a player. You got a great future, man. Love competing against you. Just keep being you, buddy. Appreciate you. All right, man. Great job. For Cincinnati, let's give them credit for the run that they made. They're ahead of schedule, aren't they? Way ahead of schedule. What a wonderful job this year of putting the pieces together. And the future is very, very bright. Ready? Whee! Thank you. That was awesome. Ready on the count three, get daddy. Get daddy, go ahead. Stafford and by Cooper Cup will go down in my mind as one of the great drives ever in Super Bowl history. Oh, that damn so Every other two-minute drive you've run, man. Sit. Believe it, man. You Appreciate you. You had to force it to one guy. No doubt. No. I said, hey, I, they're not deterring me from throwing it to this guy anymore. Okay. They were trying to double him the whole game. I said, okay. I'm going with my guy. Well, go down the right way. Are you kidding me, bro? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Nah, no, you, bro, you. That was so sweet. Hey, it's so good, it's so bro. So good. You are such a... Oh, man. Oh. You can dream it up. Unbelievable. Congratulations. The Vince Lombardi Trophy is staying in Ram's house. Oh, you big fella. Rings for the Rams. A Lombardi trophy for Los Angeles. The Los Angeles Rams are world champions.